Hey everyone, welcome. This is Patricia to share a project using the LE Studio September kit plus some of the extras and focusing a lot on the new Good Times stamp. That was definitely a jumping point for me, but I'm going to use some of those kit items, of course, and some of the extras. Now what I did with the stamp is I started with a sticky pad, a post-it note, and I made some masks. I just stamped in ink and then cut them out. I did a lot of die cutting with the brand new paper pad that you see there, the Home Sweet Home from some of the September cut files. And you see that I have my photos selected. I have my cards from the kit or the tags from the kit. I'm going to now focus on the left side using craft cardstock. Now, when you're stamping on the craft cardstock or any cardstock that is a little bit darker, especially anything other than white, your ink, especially if you use a dye base ink, it looks very fresh, it looks very juicy, as you can see right here. But as time goes by, dye inks really absorb into the fibers of the paper and they really, really fade a lot more. So this is not going to be a very dynamic as far as color using this stamp. I'm using the two different sizes of the circle images. It has such a cool little pattern to it. Very fall looking. And so I'm going to use those masks to create like an interwoven look. And if you saw my, my project that I did for back to school with the apples with the back to school stamp set, this is basically the same idea. But I'm focusing the design on the left side. Since my photo is large, I printed it on an 8x10 photo paper and I trimmed it to fit just within this traveler's notebook size page. And that's what I'm doing differently too on this particular spread is I'm combining a traveler's notebook spread for my main left side and then a regular six by eight pocket page on the right. So I'm going to continue doing these masks and I will create another one. As I start going, really as I, as I start stamping, this is something that just it just grows. You start getting into it and you start seeing more of how you like this. So I decided to cut another, another mask here and create some more of that interwoven look. But again, like I said, I'm using inks, dye based inks. I'm using colors that definitely complement the colors that I have selected from the tags, from the kit and from the photos. And, but I want to create a tad bit of contrast. You'll see a lot of texture on this background from this, but it won't be a very bold design because of the color inks. Now, as I'm creating, I'm getting more inspiration and more ideas. So I use my hole punch to punch in the center of this mask that I created for all of these. And that enables me to get my scissors in there and trim a, the circle within the image. So that way I can see a little bit more of an interwoven effect as I mask this. Now some of the image will overlap a tad bit, but overall I'm really creating a lot of texture and the overlapping and, and, all, and the masking really complements and really does go well with the design and the idea that I wanted for this. So this will be a base. And it's fun. Just take your time stamping, creating it. I'm going to go ahead. I know I want this photo here. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to that. Now, I know I want to use some of the die cuts from September that I cut out. So I'm going to fiddle around a little bit with these. I'm thinking of adding a cluster here near our faces. But I want to pull in some of the brand new jeweled tabs or jeweled die cuts. Oh, they're so pretty. I love these jeweled tone colors. So I'm going to play around. At first, I pull out the black tab here or the black die cut label because I have some black on the right side. But I really wanted to pull in the green from the green die cut that I, I know that I will use on the right side. So I want to pull in a little bit more green. So I use this die cut here trim that so I can use that other half for another project. Now I want to foam in here one of the flowers 
that one that's on top and then I'm going to use my liquid glue to tuck in the other ones and then tuck in these leaves. Now the leaves I die cut from plain card stock. I use two different color greens, a darker green with a little bit of yellow in it because I have some of the orange in my tags and then a sage color green. So I just think the different shades of green really adds some, some contrast and some depth to projects and not keeping with the exact same shade. I know I wanna add something else to this photo. It's such a big photo and my pattern I've created with masking of that stamp is it's soft, it's nice, it's, it's such a pretty elegant look to it. So I don't wanna take away too, too much from that, but I do need to add something there. But I'm gonna leave that as is. I love that die cut, that jewel die cut. I love the flowers and I've added the little puffy sticker centers to the flowers. So now I'm gonna go on to this right side. I'm gonna start with this pocket down here. It's a tag that's really, really pretty. I printed my photo to fit just within that little area. And I decided to use the new acrylic pieces right now. It fits perfectly within the, the design of that tag. Now I've added my journaling to that tag here at the top. And I wanna add some of these little pluses that are part of the Good Time stamp set. Because I've kind of created a list on there and it adds to that list, it adds to that listing effect, I guess. I wanna add some of the kit die cut here. I added and stitched in black that orange heart, ties in with the orange on the left, trimmed that up. I need to re restamp that plus sign. I'll do that in just a bit. But I will go ahead and commit to these little bitty die cut pieces in the two shades of green, just to finish that tag off. And since I have my liquid glue out, I am gonna go ahead and adhere this right now to this tag. And then I need to decide on the flower. I go with the flower that's die cut from the pattern paper that's white with the black dots. I think it's a little bit more subtle and I would rather go with an orange puffy sticker center for the flower just to add a pop of color instead of going with orange again, since I have the orange on the top tag. Now I'm gonna go on to this next tag. I, on this photo, I'm using the whole photo to fill the pocket, so I have quite a bit of space within this photo. I'm gonna use one of the kit die cuts, the ampersand, and then one of the new labels with the words on it to just adhere that directly to that. That green is gonna go really, really well with the rest of the green. Now this other tag, I decided on this die cut from the kit. I like the sentiment and I love the color. It adds a different color than what I've been using and it ties in and balances the whole page. Now what I did there is I switched those cards. I like the photo with more of the blue sky with the photo of my daughter on that tag. I think those create a nice um, diagonal balance and then the, the tag on the top left and the tag with the right now complement each other with the orange, with the slight shade of orange. And then of course the white that's in those tags. Now I'm gonna go back to focusing on this left traveler's notebook size spread. I added that awesome, awesome vertical and horizontal lined image on that Good Time stamp set. I did that in a bolder color. So that's really going to, to really add a little bit more grounding to that page. That's kind of what it needed. And then I fiddle around with some of the die cuts from the kit and I love this little arrow. It has the perfect colors. It was almost like I didn't see it at first and then I saw it and I said, I was like, aha, yes, that's the perfect color to go with this and to balance it out. I add one of the labels again, available this month with one of those awesome little wood houses. Now, I love to add stamps for uh, my date and I am addicted to this mini dated stamp set. So for that weekend card, that tag, I stamped on this day and then underneath that by the heart, I stamped 2018. I'm gonna go back to the good time stamp and use the circle numbers along the edge. At first I wasn't sure which direction, I kind of turned it a little bit, but I decided I wanted them vertically down the left side of this tag, but I wanted it in a gray ink to not take away too much because I really love the white on white of this card with the pop of 
the orange on it. So I didn't want to take away too much of it. And this was just right. I love how it looks. So that finishes this spread. I hope this kind of inspires you to maybe mix your traveler's notebook size with your pocket size to experiment with your stamps with masking, get creative with your date stamping. So I hope you enjoy and you can see the link to all the products down below. Thank you so much for watching.